last year in Abbotsford, I think I learned learned a lot. So, um, yeah. <clears throat> We've heard from a lot of the guys that have been up here speaking already about how being in the playoffs and, and having some success sort of fuels you that much more going forward. Do you feel like that'll be the case when you head into the summer in training, having had this experience, having had a taste of it? Yeah, of course. I mean, play, everyone want to play playoffs, and that's a uh, different game out there. So, yeah, that's what I, my mindset going on in for the summer. <clears throat> Ilya? Uh, how do you look at your season? Got off to the tough start where you, or not tough start, but you didn't play the first few games as your rehab, came back, seemed to find the game pretty quickly, but obviously was a struggle over the, the second half of the season. How do you look at uh, the way things played out? Uh, when I come back, I, like, I feel less good, good in the, like maybe first and a half season and uh, feel more confidence, more like just... But second half, I understand like how I play, and uh, of course, I can play better. I know this, and like, yeah, it just happens. You just need to keep working, and uh, I know it's it's coming. Yeah, I mean, you were playing higher in the lineup for a lot of the second half. Like, just how frustrating was it not to be able to produce offense? Uh, of course, everybody want like score, like get some assists or something. But like sometimes, if you can score or get some points, you need just uh, give team what you can do. Like you know, like maybe play more in the zone, like some PK or something. You know, like you don't, you don't need need focusing on uh, like points or like goals if you can. Like sometimes it's unlucky. Sometimes like you need just keep doing your job, like for team. Phil. First of all, how uh, how tired are you feeling right now with with the baby? I'm okay. We got the, we got family helping out, so I've actually been sleeping quite a bit. <laughs> um, your first full season end to end in the NHL. What, what what did you accomplish here from your perspective? Um, you know, there's a lot of highs and lows, a lot of joy and pain this year. Um, you know, obviously came in camp, had a great camp, and then uh, you know, I had points where I struggled and. Um, learned a lot about myself, just sticking with it and, you know, being ready for the opportunity. And, um, you know, it was unbelievable playing in playoffs, nothing I ever experienced. And, um, you know, I want to play those more of those games. Noah, a similar question for you. I mean, in the end, your first season end to end in the NHL, what did you accomplish? What was the key to your ability to get through this season? <laughs> Yeah, I think for me it was staying healthy. I think obviously uh, in the past I've had injuries and stuff, so that was one of the the bigger things for me. Um, and then just staying with it every day. You know, obviously I didn't I didn't play every night uh, on a daily basis. So I think the the biggest thing was just staying with it and, and staying positive throughout the whole season. Uh, Noah, what did it mean to be a local guy and have? I'm sure you follow the Canucks throughout your career, obviously, but to see them actually go into the playoffs and be a part of it. What did it mean being a local guy? Yeah, I think for me, obviously, it, it, it means a lot. Uh, but I think to everyone in this room, you know, we're we're playing for the crest on the front of our jersey, and I think um, as a group, you know, I think we had a pretty pretty solid year. Um, you know, we made the playoffs, got in there, and I think you could just feel the energy in the city again. I think that's something that this city and uh, I guess even the province just needed to to take another step in that direction. And Niels, we saw you out at practice, always out there early with the coaches. I'm curious, what was your favorite part about dealing with this coaching staff this year? Um, favorite thing, I don't know, but I mean, they, they helped me out a lot this year. Um, feels, um, I, I don't know what to say. They, they helped me out a lot and, um, I like to work. We talked earlier, you and me about that, to go, go out earlier before practice and work. I think that's helps, helps my game a lot. <clears throat> Building off that question of coaching, Noah, you've <clears throat> been in other organizations, the experience you had on the blue line just to help you out not only the players but the coaches you know what did that mean to you personally I was footer and gaunch and I think you know they played a long time both of them so there's a lot of knowledge uh, throughout the whole coaching staff not just uh, the defense coach